Now, outbreaks of coronavirus uh, in care homes have led to calls for far more testing and greater protection for staff looking after elderly residents. The Northern Ireland uh, government has revealed that there are at least 20 care homes dealing with multiple cases of coronavirus among residents and has put staff in care homes under intense pressure, as our island correspondent Emma Vardy tells us now. This is the first time Julie Bennett has seen her father in four weeks. No, you can't touch my hand. <laughs> he doesn't understand why she can't come in. Heartbreaking. Staff at this care home in Belfast have been coping with a number of suspected and confirmed cases of coronavirus. All 82 residents are being kept in isolation, but it's not easy. Many have dementia. He's looking for us, you know, and saying why is his family not coming the same. But I know the staff here are so good to him and I know he's being well cared for. They're afraid to go to work themselves because they probably have vulnerable pe people at home and young children. The first cases of the virus were detected early here. Magdalene Mitchell, a resident, passed away in hospital. Get your phone and take the video. Staff are trying to prevent infection as best they can, but residents need hands-on care and the virus can spread rapidly. Do you worry about your own safety? Yes. Yes, yes. I do, yeah, every yeah. day. I mean, the PPE is amazing. You know, it really is. It really helps us 100% because then we know that we're doing the best we can not to carry anything. Yeah. And you always have a fear in the back of your head. Hi, yeah, my name's Libby. I work in Bradley Manor. It's a bit scary mm -hmm. coming into work at times, but our wee residents need us at the end of the day. We have to work for the PPE, aprons, gloves, visors, masks. We have to change these for every resident. It's hot and tiring, but behind the masks, still smiles. Inside, residents need them. I've been here for five years and you do care for them like they're your own family. I have two children at home. One of them's ASD and has additional needs and a weak immune system. So as well as putting myself at risk, I feel like I'm putting my family at risk as well by coming to work. But during this pandemic, our residents need us more now than they ever have done. Staff take their own temperature daily and testing for the virus is being accelerated. Getting more people back to work is badly needed. Some care homes have lost a third of their teams. The main challenge is staffing at the minute. Um, we have had a lot of staff who are self-isolating and the other is the fear factor for the staff. Um, the unknown, I suppose, because nobody knows what they're coming into. I love you. God bless you. The smallest interaction means a lot. A smile and wink. No one knows how long this separation will last. Care workers beside loved ones, while families cannot. Emma Vardy, BBC News, Belfast. Well, in East London, seven residents of a care home there have died with coronavirus. Another 21 residents are displaying COVID-19 symptoms. Is at the Hawthorne Green Home in Stepney, which houses 48 people. A dozen staff members are also off work. They're either self-isolating or shielding. Our correspondent, Sangeeta Maisha, is at the home tonight with the latest for us. So, Hugh, tonight we've had a statement from a spokesperson at Hawthorne Green, uh, and they say that it is with deep regret that they have lost seven residents to the virus, but they insist that they have been following the care protocols set out by Public Health England. That means when someone becomes symptomatic, they are put into isolation and treated there. But the figures that you outlined, they paint a picture of a story that's now being replicated across the UK. So just taking this one residence uh, home, 48 residents here, 21 of them displaying symptoms, seven of them have passed away. And on top of that, 12 care workers critical to care are now off work sick. We're seeing deaths in care homes in other parts of London, in Dumbarton, in Glasgow, uh, and also in Luton today. Uh, what does this mean? Well, it raises very serious qu uh, questions about uh, infection control in this 
kind of environment and whether or not there is enough uh, personal protective gear. Now, Public Health England insists that they will guarantee the long-term supply of that PPE kit. It is asking homes like this to work at full capacity, and that's because we haven't quite reached the peak of spread yet. Uh, it goes on to say that if their guidance is adhered to, then both residents and care workers can stay safe. But Hugh, with this virus now endemic in the community and with weeks yet to go, those promises will be put to the test. Sangeeta, many thanks again. Sangeeta Maska there for us uh, in East London. Just uh, step on the mat there and um, scrub your feet, Mary. Put your personal effects on the table. Getting into Glyn Williams' care home is a military operation. This former RAF man has set up a decontamination zone. Nothing gets in without being sanitised. Hello, ladies and gents. Hello. Enjoying a bit of time out in the sun. These pictures were taken for us by the care home. So far, none of the 28 residents has contracted Hello, the virus, ladies. but there's a strong feeling here that they're not getting the help they need, particularly Hello. with protective clothing. We've had to innovate with the visors. Uh, we managed to source some hairspray um, visors that stick onto a forehead. Um, I've got one here that I can show you. Um, it just peels off, and you might have seen them in the, uh, in the, in the hairdressers. You shouldn't have to be improvising, should you? No, absolutely not. We're, we're also, we can't get uh, oh. medical uh, gowns, so we're having to consider the use of um, uh, plastic bags, to be honest, to cut holes in for the heads and the arms. But yeah, uh, as a last resort, we've got um, a bag that you can put your hands through, and... Uh, over your head, you know? No way, friends. No problem. In bag. So this is what staff here are using to protect their residents and themselves. Plastic bags and visors used in hairdressers. Face shield. Can be set to forehead. Or... The Welsh Government told us they have issued PPE to local authorities for frontline care workers, and they've issued guidance on how social care workers can carry out their activities safely. But Glynn says he's at his wit's end, trying to keep everyone safe. The heartache that my wife and I are going through at the moment with these residents, because we love them. Um, it's a sad state of affairs that um, the local authorities can't help us out in these dire circumstances, to be honest with you. We're all exhausted. I'm probably on three hours sleep a night, and I'm desperate to just try and do everything that I can to achieve the duty of care that I have to everybody in our, in our well-born family. Is it going to Rachel tomorrow? runs 14 oh, care homes in the northeast of England. She's brought protective clothing for all her staff, but it's expensive and in short supply. Listen to the worries. Where are we getting our PPE from? Where are we going to get this supply from? How are we going to protect this home from this COVID-19? It's very hard sometimes as we're frightened ourselves and we are going home to sometimes vulnerable people ourselves. I'm managing quite well, but the guilt of taking this dreadful virus home um, to my family, possibly passing it on, it's heartbreaking. There have been cases of COVID-19 in two of the 14 homes Rachel runs. Yeah. And what about testing? Have any of you been tested? No, nope, none of the staff have been tested. And uh, in fact, the first home where we had our first case, we rang public health and we said we have three now that have been admitted to the hospital, all tested positive. Um, could we please have our six promised tests? And they said, what's the point? It is what it is. Uh, and put the phone down. Gosh. Uh, what so do you think of that? I was furious. I actually cried when I went to bed that night. Um, how, how can any of us know whether we're taking a virus in to a home with vulnerable people if we haven't got the tests? COVID-19 is starting to spread in care homes with deaths now reported in Luton, Liverpool, Portsmouth, Glasgow. The Scottish Government says it'll offer all the support it can to care homes. Hello, Cathy, I've brought you a cup of tea and a cheese scone. Do you think it's inevitable that residents in care homes are going to end up dying in numbers? Yes, ultimately, if we're not careful and we don't get the right equipment, um, 
and admissions are you know our residents aren't cared for by the nhs then yes that's what we we are looking at the government in Westminster says it's delivered almost 8 million pieces of PPE to care homes and is rapidly working to extend testing to social care workers. But the message is clear. There isn't enough financial support, there isn't enough testing, there isn't enough protective clothing. Graeme Satchel, BBC News.